to explain how one animal can reproduce without a mate and a theory as to why they do this. The definition of parthenogenesis is reproduction from an ovum without fertilization, especially as a normal process in some invertebrates and lower plants. What may surprise you is that it has now been seen in vertebrates, this is animals with backbones, and these include snakes, fish, and quite famously, Komodo dragons. I say quite famously as two female Komodo dragons in two separate English zoos both produce fertilised eggs without mating in the same year as each other. Back in 2006, it was reported that a Komodo dragon named Flora from Chester Zoo had laid 11 eggs, even though she had never been near a male, let alone bred with a male in her life. Three of the eggs died off, but these were used to test genetics of the eggs whilst the other eight were developing. These offspring weren't exactly clones, but their genetic makeup derived from just the female Komodo dragon, Flora. It was once thought that this process of pathogenesis was an unusual, rare occurrence, but it seems that more and more cases are being discovered. As my channel is mainly to do with leopard geckos, I would like to point out that it is yet to be seen in leopard geckos. However, since Gizmo has laid an egg without ever coming into contact with a male, and she looks set to lay another, I always check that the eggs are duds before I throw them out, just on the off chance that they may be fertile. There are a few theories as to why parthenogenesis happens, and one that seems most likely is that it's an evolutionary trait that has been passed down through the generations. A trait that in some ways saved a species from dying out. So when it comes to Komodo dragons, an egg from a female will carry one chromosome, either a W or a Z. When parthenogenesis takes place, the chromosome is duplicated. Now, WW will not survive, but ZZ will, and this will be a male. Uh, WZ is a female. Okay, so imagine a female is washed up on an island. For example, if you look at the Galapagos Islands, there are marine iguanas, which cannot be seen anywhere else in the world. And it was thought that a female had washed up upon the shore, and possibly pathogenesis could be the reason the whole species exists. So, imagine this for a sec. So a female washes up on the shore, and after a while, possibly years, she cannot find any males to reproduce with. And when you look at the animal world, almost every animal has that inbuilt instinct to mate and reproduce so their species can carry on. So, without a male, pathogenesis takes place. The female produces males, the ZZs, and when, once they hit sexual maturity, she can then breed with them, and now there's a chance that both females and males can be produced. When you think about it, this is an incredibly intelligent way to ensure the survival of your species. If only we could get pandas to do this. I hope you have found this interesting, so remember if your reptile lays an egg out of nowhere, please check it before throwing it away because there could be a rare occurrence, possibly rare occurrence, of a little baby. Now if you want to see the video of Gizmo's egg when I first discovered it, please click the picture of the egg. And thank you very much for watching, please give me a thumbs up if this has helped or you found it at least interesting. So if you like, please click the subscribe button so you'll never miss a video.